we met the guide. His name is Alan, and uh, Ezra is the driver, who doesn't seem to speak English, but does a lot of talking and a lot of waving his hands while he's talking, pointing here and there. That, that, that ought to be interesting. <laughs> um, from our window, we can see there's a cemetery just squeezed in by the buildings. It can't go any further. It can't go up. It can't go down. You know, it's just loaded with tombstones. I'd like to walk over there tomorrow and see if there's any old, old ones there. I don't know if we could read the inscriptions on them, though. Well, we can see anyway. We can try. And right now, I came back up because I'm, I'm still battling a, a infection of the bladder, so I'm, I'm not real peppy yet. But it's coming along better, and, uh, and every day it's better. And uh, Velma, we ate dinner downstairs, and Velma went shopping with the group. They're going to some little mall there that has shop, 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 shops. But I thought, nope, I'm going upstairs. I'm going to start on my tape, and I'm going to go to bed and get a good night's rest and do it that way. Uh, the food was wonderful. I can't, uh, uh, things tasted different. They had a buffet, and the thing said stuffed peppers, you know, and, and, uh, when you ate it, it was cabbages around um, pieces of chicken and rice, lots of rice. But, you know, that's okay. That's their way of doing it, it, it and it's okay, and it was good. And the desserts, they had an umpteen number of desserts. Every, we all just piled up our plates like it was our last supper here. So anyway, there's 13 of us, and the minister and his wife and uh, they have a tent there's just a a little lull here just keep going don't stop and the rest of us 13 are all ladies one of them ha has a husband but th he didn't want to t go here this is like ralphie i'm not going there i'll just go someplace else so tomorrow we're going to get on the bus and we're going someplace and I don't know where and uh, just haven't felt good enough to be reading brochures to find out what's this and what we're going to do in that. I'll, I'll wait and see and hope, hope tomorrow's a better day for me and I can, I can see everything in sight. So see you then guys. Well here's see you then guys. Um, I'll tell you, there's a lot of differences here. Uh, no milk or cream or butter, and no coffee with your meals. You know, because you may put cream in it. I says, I'm only going to have mine black. No, nope, no, nope, we can't have it. No, nope, no, nope. he doesn't know. Maybe I'll put take the cream out of my pocket in a little package. No, nope, we have to go to a separate room for the coffee. Uh, and then that's okay. Now, I don't know what we did today but we spent all day doing it. <laughs> we went to Neot Kedumin, N-E-O-T-K-E-D-U-M-I-N. And that is where Independence Hall is, where the leaders got together in, on May 14, 1948, and they said they were establishing, and they did, not only said, they did establish the State of Israel. Uh, we had a young, and, and Golda Meir was there for the cause. We had a young Jewish lady that told the whole story, and it was interesting, very interesting. We sat looking at the chairs where the leaders had sat and looking at the microphones, and it had the names there and gold plates where everyone had sat. And uh, she just told a wonderful story. And, and we enjoyed it in the end. We were supposed to see a nice movie about how Israel got its start, but the machine wouldn't work, as usual. Then we drove through the wilderness. They had a hard life in the wilderness. The, this is wilderness, about 600 acres that they made up. And, they, and you can see things there. Uh, we saw fig trees, and, and then we saw the fig presses, and they pressed for honey, the honey of the figs. 
And then we saw the olive trees and the olive presses, and that was for olive oil, of course. And naturally, the first press that was hardly a press was the virgin oil. And then we saw the grape bushes and, and no, their grape vines. And the grapes are not pressed. They, they use their feet so that they would not crush the, the pits in the grapes because they are kind of strong and then that would ruin the wine. I didn't know that. I was wondering why they used their feet all the time. <laughs>